All right, hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in. My name is John Gibbons, and today I'm going to be talking about all these books you see and how they helped me become a businessman and a, an artist that survives off his art. So the first book here uh, was recommended to me in college by a friend. It's called How to Survive and Prosper as an Artist by Carol Michaels. And this, um, this is a good book because it talks about, talks about going from an amateur or a student to a professional and all the steps necessary to get there and all the things you might not expect. And it talks about how um, when buyers come to your studio, you shouldn't sell your art for less than the galleries selling it because you don't want to undercut your galleries. And there's a lot of uh, tips like making business cards or soliciting galleries, sending them uh, a proposed uh, art show. Um, this wasn't my favorite book. It was really dry. It was described to me as like reading a VCR manual. But nonetheless, I still think about it all the time. This book here is called The E-Myth Enterprise. And I heard about this book it's by Michael Gerber. He's down in San Diego, uh, Carlsbad. Um, I met the author and he recommended I read it. I think because I was asking him if he knew any good business books to read. So of course he said, read my book. But it's a, it's a great book. It, it's a bunch of short stories on how to um, grow your business and how to take an idea to market. Um, good book, easy read. And if you're going to become an entrepreneur, business person, artist, um, you got to invest in assets and that assets are things that make money. And so this is The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. It's a very popular investor's book. It's mainly about investing in the stock market and demystifying the stock market. Warren Buffett says it's his favorite book and so um, I recommend it. It's really long and dry. I don't think I read the whole thing but it helps. I'd read that. And so here's a book about, um, let's see here, Stefan uh, Ambrose. Let's see. And it's called Nothing Like It in the World. It, this is about building the railroad from East Coast to West Coast. And you're probably thinking, what does this have to do with business or art, John? Well, it kind of revealed how the government spends money. And becoming uh, an entrepreneur and a businessman, you got to learn everything there is to know about the, the government, its taxes, and how it spends money because it's going to affect your money, it's going to take your money, and you got to know how to avoid that. So uh, in this book, the railroad tycoon said to the government, hey government, help us build this railroad from east coast to west coast. Um, if you guys give us a thousand dollars a mile, that would really help us out. And the government said, okay. And so what did the railroad tycoons do? They made the railroad as long as they possibly could because they got a thousand dollars for every mile of railroad that they built. So there's your government hard at work. And that was 150 years ago during the Civil War. Then there's uh, this book here, um, Influence by Robert B. Caldini. Uh, this is all about the psychology and the persuasion of um, making a sale. And so it talks about the, the natural behaviors of people and what to look for and how to persuade them into buying your art, because that's what we're trying to do here, we're trying to sell art. So this was a great book, I really recommend it. So then uh, Robert Kiyosaki, he is probably one of my favorite um, he wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This is his second book. I don't have Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I gave it to a friend. And uh, this is called Cash Flow Quadrant. And so this is all about um, going from the uh, employee or self-employed side of the cash flow quadrant to the business owner investor side. And it talks a lot about um, where you can put your money, how to buy assets. Robert Kiyosaki is really big on buying gold, and real estate, silver, tangible assets. So he's probably my second favorite. My number one favorite, I don't have that book either. It's called Think and Grow Rich. And the author is Napoleon Hill. And all these books uh, talk about Think and Grow Rich. So that's how I found out about that book. I, I read it, it was great. And it's more about 
coming up with the idea. It's about manifesting riches from your mind. You think and you grow rich. And so you have to think of the idea and it has to become a burning desire. You have to want it more than anything and you have to write down what it is you want. And he says to write it down, put it on your wall in your bedroom and as soon as you wake up, uh, you'll read it and you have to say it aloud. And he's very big on saying it out loud. And it's almost like prayer, but um, he seems to be praying to money and riches. So that's a great book, I really recommend it. Another Robert Kiyosaki uh, idea that he gave me was to read uh, Buckminster Fuller. He talks a lot about Buckminster Fuller. Robert Kiyosaki does. He studied with him. And if you don't know who Buckminster Fuller is, he is an architect and he, he built a car in the 30s and he's got 23 books that he's written and a bunch of honorary degrees from universities. He never earned any degrees, he never went to school. He was just this guru and his, his objective in life was to serve humanity and to be, uh, to help, to help eliminate homelessness. He wanted to come up with a, a simple, cheap way to build homes. And so he invented the geodesic dome, which you've probably played on as a kid in the, uh, in, in the playgrounds. And so this, this is what I'm reading uh, now. And it's, it's a tough read. He's a very strange guy. He makes up a lot of words. And uh, so I'm, I'm working on this one, Critical Path. So yeah, I hope this helped you. And uh, I, I found out about a lot of these books from when I do an art show and I meet someone buying a really nice piece of art. You know, they usually have a lot of money. I ask them, uh, how did you get to where you are? Do you recommend any books? So I really recommend asking people about these books. So thanks for watching, and I hope this helped out a lot. Subscribe down below or leave comments. Thanks so much. Have a great day.